And I think an important part of Judaism for me is a fundamental tenet called tikkun olam, which is to heal the world, which means that there's a requirement, a commitment to make the world better and to serve the world, not just in the way that I think so, but more importantly, as the world needs. I think when you can show people that you care for them and you want to connect with them and you allow them to have choice and freedom in how you do that, right? I think it's one of the highest services for me that I can have a life and a reinforce the notion of tikkun olam. So that is just part of how I try to practice it and apply it. And it's also how I try to live when I meet people. Christianity is a lived faith. It's not something you did in your spare time. It wasn't something you did, you know, for an hour on Sunday. You know, you got to live it 24-7. Make it part of your life. Make it a part of who you are. So I think through those evangelical friends, I got the idea of, hey, you know, mission work is something possible even for you as a Catholic, you know, and then that seed got planted when I was back in college. So it wasn't until after I graduated from college that I, that I got the idea of going to medicine as a way to uh, basically do mission work and also you know, maintain my love of the sciences. For me, without that belief system, I don't think I would still be here. To be in Mecca, to be in, in Saudi Arabia, and to see the unsiloed spiritual experience where people of different faiths and not even speak the same languages are together in one space, respectful of one another, bringing their culture, bringing their costumes, bringing their language, and being accepted. So I have great admiration for that, and it's something that I will always appreciate. If you look at the core, which can be found in a text called the Upanishad, it says that everything is one, everybody's one. We all come from the same place, we go to the same place. So you, you must have all heard the term Namaste. That's a greeting. And Namaste essentially means the divine in me salutes the divine in you. So when the core of your being is the same as the core of the other person's being, how can you be against anyone? How can you hurt someone else?